Mr. Jack. Santa is coming. It was the night before Christmas, and the Santas are in. How to live in a world as politically correct is workers no longer would answer to elves. Vertically challenged, they were calling themselves. And labour conditions at the North Pole were alleged by the Union to stifle the soul. Four reindeer had vanished without much propriety, released to the wilds by a humane society. And equal employment had made it quite clear that Santa had better not use just reindeer. So Dancer and Donna, Comet and Cupid were replaced with four pigs. And you know that looks stupid. The runners had been removed from his sleigh. The ruts were termed dangerous by the EPA and people decided to call for the cops when they heard sled noises on their rooftops. Second hand smoke from his pipe had his workers quite frightened. His fur trimmed red suit was called unenlightened. And to show you the strangeness of life's ebbs and flows, Rudolph was suing over unauthorized use of his nose and had gone on Jerry Springer in front of the nation demanding millions in overdue compensation. So half the reindeer were gone and his wife who suddenly said she'd enough of his life, joined a self-help group packed and left in a whiz, demanding from now on her title was Ms. And as for the gifts, why, he'd never had a notion that making a choice could cause so much commotion. Nothing of leather, nothing of fur, which meant nothing for him and nothing for her. Nothing that might be construed to pollute. Nothing to aim, nothing to shoot. Nothing that clamoured or made lots of noise. Nothing for just girls or just for boys. Nothing that claimed to be gender specific. Nothing that's warlike or non pacific. No candy or sweets, they were bad for the tooth. Nothing that seemed to embellish the truth. And fairy tales, one not yet forbidden, were like Ken and Barbie, better off hidden. For they raised the hackles of those psychological who claimed the only gift was one ecological. No baseball, no football, someone could get hurt. Besides playing sports, expose kids to the dirt. Dolls were said to be sexist and should be per se, and Nintendo would rock your entire brain away. So Santa just stood there, dis disheveled, perplexed. He just could not figure out what to do next. He tried to be merry, tried to be gay, but you've got to be careful with that word today. His set was quite empty, he limped to the ground, nothing fully acceptable was to be found, something special was needed, a gift that he might give to all without angering the left or the right, a gift that would satisfy with no indecision. Each group of people, every religion, every ethnicity, every hue, everyone, everywhere, even you. So here is the gift, it's price beyond worth. May you and your loved ones enjoy peace on earth. Dream a little dream, this time, so it's